Welcome to this last tutorial about the VR multiplayer in which we're going to cover uh, different aspects regarding the scripts and the uh, dynamics of the game. So, the first thing I'm going to do is connect my device uh, to the up, up um, server. So I'm, I'm going to connect my mobile device. It's doing it now and you will see how the player changes its position. Okay, so now um, we are connected which means that uh, two players are in the game as you can see here we have the player and the second player that is going to be a clone because we are instantiating a game object whenever the second player connects if the second player moves its head as you can see here uh, the movement appears in the game at the same time it's it's a multiplayer game if the player shoots the um, the ray will be also instantiated in the in the game. So let's uh, explain a little bit how this works. First of all, uh, if you open the app wrap uh, script, which is going to be the one that manages the multiplayer events, um, we have the starting um, uh, the starting where is it? Yes, the start function. Uh, in which we are adding a player, okay, and if you check what happens when we add a player, we are instantiating, as I said, a game object that is going to be an object prefab. So, um, the object prefab is going to be, as you can see here, the second player object, okay? The player object is going to be the player the object prefab is going to be the second player that is in the prefabs folder. The object is going to be the reference to the second player clone that is going to be inside the scene. And the head is going to be the head part of, the, of that second player. Okay, so we have all the information there. So that makes possible to uh, change the rotation of the head and change the position of the player. So, um, the next thing we are going to explain uh, in the code is this part here. Uh, we've seen in the other tutorial how to send a message with the JSON, but now let's check how movement is achieved. I'm going to move my player in my device and I'm going to show how it moves okay as you can see here in the in the game so that is achieved really easily <coughs> by um, by moving or getting the information of the uh, as you can see here of the transform child that is going to be the the head of the of the of the game object and sending that information into the server then that information is going to be set for um, the shoot the shoot no the the move player okay here so as you can see the new position and the new rotation are updated in function of those values so the position that is going to be uh, what I'm moving in my game, what means that uh, this position that is changing now, okay, is being sent to the server, as you can see here in this part uh, in the corner of the screen. So that information is the one that then gets inside the function move player and changes the new position and new rotation. And if you go to the fix update, you can see how the um, object transform position is updated using a lerp function and using the new position vector 3 and same thing happens with the head and the with the head sorry and with the rotation in the y axis that means that whenever i i'm rotating my my uh, my head in my device to the left or to the right the rotation in the y-axis is going to be equal to the rotation in the head. So that's that's the main point. Then 
we have the rotation in the x uh, direction that's going to be this rotation here that is happening now in in the in the head and this one here that is going to be in the set direction which is the rolling effect of your head okay so um, and then we have the displacement which has ha happened right now the displacement is uh, achieved by uh, using the walking filter which is uh, part of our newest codes in which we can walk in uh, in real uh, as, as you can see here we can walk in the in the game and the player is going to uh, displace in the game the next things uh, that happens on the game are the shooting so shooting is another message that is sent like a JSON event but instead of using the move uh, parameter we use the shoot uh, parameter which is going to set to 1 the re reloading is exactly the same but doesn't, it doesn't need anything else for the shooting we need the point which uh, the shooting occurs and then we need the impact which means that uh, the player is going to take a hit or not so, if you go to the listener um, listener script, we can see that we have those two uh, different actions which happens uh, for the shoot or reload, okay, events. So uh, those uh, listeners call in the app wrap function the uh, um, the shoot and the re reload. So as you can see, we are just using parts of the script of the enemy shooting or of the player health. Okay. So um, for shooting, you can see that we uh, we set the enemy shooting to shoot a new vector, which means that we are uh, creating a line renderer between the barrel of the gun and the point that we are sending using the sense shoot uh, event that was here before and uh, if the impact is different to zero which means that the player is going to hit the the other player um, we take a hit we take a damage okay so that's the main idea so I'm going to rotate the other player I'm going to shoot myself from the device in order to show you what happens okay and we have also the re reloading effect so whenever it shoots at us the life of our uh, player is going to be reduced by an amount okay so that's how it works um, we have seen the shooting, the reloading, and now uh, it's time to see a little bit of the scripts attached to the player and to the second player clone. So we have uh, the player. The player has the walking filter and the player movement. So the walking filter is going to be the one that uh, is is going to like um, move the player or make it jump in order in, in function of the values of the accelerometer if you set the debug acceleration to true you will be able to move the player using the the different um, the different accelerometers and make it jump also okay but if you want to use the um, bluetooth device you can go ahead and activate the player movement and you will be able to move your player easily uh, with the um, W, A, S, and D uh, values of your keyboard or your uh, Bluetooth controller. So it's prepared for that too, for a Bluetooth controller or for a, um, for a movement without any kind of controller using the walking filter script. Then we have the player shooting, which has a reference to a line renderer. So whenever we shoot, 
this uh, player shooting uh, script, what it does, it's it's getting the line renderer, and uh, from the main camera, it gets the position of the point which you are looking at, and it generates a line renderer that gets to that point in order to simulate the shooting effect. Okay. At the same time, the player shooting uh, has a reloading function inside. So let's check that out really fast. So we have the player shooting and we have the shoot effect. So as you can see, we are setting the line renderer here. We are getting all the animations and all the sounds here. And then we check if we are uh, colliding with the enemy. If we are colliding with the enemy, we send the shoot uh, information to the server with the impact value. Okay? And then we disable the effect. So that's how the shooting uh, is it's done. And the reloading happens. Let me see. Okay, the reloading happens if the number of bullets after shooting is less than zero. So you can see how the reloading effect occurs there. And we also send the reloading message to the server that is going to be then broadcast to the different clients. So that's the main idea. Okay? So that's all regarding the, uh, the player. Let's go to the... Um, second player that is going to be the enemy. The enemy has the enemy shooting that is really similar to the one we have seen. So you can see that whenever the shoot event is called it's using a line renderer also. So I'm going just to show you what happens when I shoot from my my device. So I'm going to look at the player. I'm going to shoot really next, or, uh, next to the player but without hitting him to the ground as you can see so whenever it's it's shooting this second player here um, a line render is also created okay as you can see the line render is created in the game and the reloading effect also occurs so that is managed with this part of the code the reloading uh, effect is also, as you can see, uh, an animation, just an animation. And finally, uh, let's talk about the health management. So um, the player and the enemy have a enemy health script, which uh, is used to um, change the health whenever we call the take damage um, function. So as you have uh, seen before in um, in the app wrap, I think. Yes, here we say player object get component player health take damage the amount per shot. So we go to here, and you can see we have the uh, take damage function what is it uh, let me shoot it sorry uh, play shoot play here play play your hero yes take damage here sorry so we have here the take damage and uh, we see how the current health is reduced the amount that is uh, given in the function and finally, finally, the game ends, well, it ends and restarts whenever the current health is uh, lower than zero, which means that the player is going to die. So I'm going to try to kill a player, and you will see what happens. I'm going to kill this player here. So you can see how the player is dead, and the game is going to restart again. Okay. 
so the player restarts his position to 0 0 0 so that's all regarding this um, short tutorial about the scripts I hope you like this package I hope you consider downloading it thanks for supporting our job